Now it's time for our children's story, which will be brought to us by Miss Stacy Martin. Until he could no longer see the star. 
God spoke again. See the storm clouds in the distance? Yes, Lord, answered Hollis. Swim until you are in the middle of the storm, said God. Hollis swam until he was in the middle of a raging storm. Then God asked, Do you see the ship? Hollis looked up and saw the hull of a ship. In a moment, a man will be thrown from that ship. He is my servant, Jonah. I have a very important mission for him, and I want you to swallow him and keep him safe. Up on the boat, all the people were frightened by the raging storm. They tried to row to safety, but the storm only got worse. And then the men started saying, Someone must have angered their God. We should cast lots to see who is responsible. The men cast lots. Jonah was revealed as the guilty man. The captain of the ship asked Jonah, What have you done to put us all in such danger? I was commanded by the only one true God to go to the city of Nineveh and preach to the people. I didn't obey him, and that is why we're in this storm. Please pray to your God so that we all might survive, thanked the captain. Throw me into the sea, said Jonah, and your ship will be saved. The men grabbed Jonah and tossed him into the ocean. As soon as he hit the water, the storm ended. Everyone aboard gave thanks to the one true God. Under the boat, Hollis watched as Jonah sank in the sea. He quickly swallowed Jonah with one big gulp. Hollis, said God, swim toward the east. When you see land, I'll tell you what to do. For three days, Hollis swam toward the east. As the sun rose on the third day, Hollis could see land in the distance. Hollis, said God, when you're close to the shore, I want you to spit Jonah out so that he may complete my mission. Hollis did exactly as God commanded, and he spit Jonah onto the land. Jonah thanked God for sending Hollis, and he set out for Nineveh to complete God's mission. God asked Hollis, do you remember asking why you were so big? Yes, said Hollis. Now do you know? I created you to fulfill this very special purpose. Your story will be told throughout history to remind everyone that I have a plan for their life. As he swam away, he met a school of very large fish. Are you Hollis? asked the teacher. Yes, said Hollis. God said you'd be coming, said the teacher. We want you to join our school. <laughs> Hollis was so excited. From that day on, he was a humongous and a happy fish. <laughs> Just like Hollis, God created each of you to play a very special role in this world. No matter if you're big or small, God has a purpose and a plan for each of your lives. Your job is to listen and obey God's plan for your life, just like Hollis did. I'd like to say a little prayer for you. Heavenly Father, I pray that each of these children will seek to listen to you, to know your will for their lives, and that they will be obedient and quick to obey. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.